how to do independent research in mathematics or in theoretical physics you have to become really proficient in the subject if you can do that then you can do actual research the first thing in learning physics is to become really 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 proficient in math the mathematical methods that underlie physics all your basic math you know calculus differential equations integral calculus differential calculus linear algebra matrices blah 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 all that stuff pick up any textbook of um, uh, the mathematical methods of physics mary bose is one uh, and so on i may have a few here and you need to get get really proficient at that you need to spend hundreds of hours solving math problems there's no shortcut to it minimum time period 5 years dedicated hard work you do that you'll become really good at math if you are really good at math physics is the easiest thing in the world physics is all math physics makes a lot of sense all entire sense once you get the math down you do that you can do research of course you will have to study the various theories quantum quantum mechanics even though you may know the math is is a big shock to you you know the first time you encounter it and especially when you start going deeper into it so you need to get into quantum physics quantum mechanics quantum field theory quantum electrodynamics chromodynamics you need to also study relativity if that's what you're into so it takes a lot of time to get there but once you are professional enough you can do your own research you don't need to be part of any university or whatever else so that is the the brief guide or road map which is not brief and it certainly is not easy that's how we do it